If you went to Mexico, would you take your AR with you? I can't. You're not allowed to take it to Mexico. Would you go to Mexico? With the right people? Yeah. Yeah. Like security people? Like I, people that... I wouldn't say security people. I know a lot of higher end, you know, like DA and other people. Frustrating all the people I know and I can't <laughs> I got people that are, are nice of them to come and collect me but that's not what I need. I need I need a I need a new rim. I just need a new fucking Road King front wheel. How hard can it be? Okay, headed into Phoenix. Um, just gonna have to go to the dealership tomorrow and try and work something out. I know what you're thinking right now. You're thinking take this back, get some money back, and fly home. Am I right? No, I was thinking of plan B. What's that? Um, I want some um, Eagle Rider credit. Yeah. <laughs> it just doesn't involve Mexico, as I found out. Let's just play it by ear, mate. Whatever happens, happens. We're here together, and it's we're on the road. We've got, to, we've got to get to Cancun, can, mate. We can fly Can there. If Cancun. Need me. Nah, I'm riding. <laughs> nah, no fucking way, mate. I'd rather walk. <laughs> Oh, hello. Hi, it's Daniel Hayes here. Um, I don't know if you know my name. I'm I'm the guy with the Road King that needs a front wheel. So it, so it'll go on. So mine's a 17, 18 Road King special. I think it's a 19, yeah. So that'll go on. Yep, mate. I'll take it. Can, can you fit it and put it all on and make sure it's safe? Okay. Yeah, yeah, I hit a pothole and I've cracked the rim. It's still rideable. Oh, so, mate, I'm going to come to you tomorrow. What, what time is the earliest I can, I can see you? I'll be there at nine. Mate, you're a fucking legend. Oh, so, I'm so happy. And um, I, I'm a YouTuber, so are you okay if I vlog it? Danny Wilson, is it Danny Wilson, is it? You, oh. That's all I care about, safety. Oh, you're a champion. All right, I'll be there tomorrow at 9 a.m. That you're a legend. Thank you. Bye. So a guy called Danny Wilson, but the guy from has got a 19 inch new one. Um, and he said he'll check, put it on, check out the bike, go over and make sure it's safe for us. What a legend. Um, what a legend. And then guess what? We're back in fucking Mexico tomorrow. And he's actually in this area that we're yeah, situated. Yeah, he's, he's sending me the, the address. Oh, how good's that? Phoenix, Arizona, you fucking the guy from Gears and Gadgets, Gears and Gadgets, subscribe to this channel. I don't he, he doesn't have a huge amount of followers. But the gears and gadgets dude has done all of this. He has done it all. Subscribe to him. Thank you. How 
way, mate. Hey, what's going on? Are you okay? You don't sound too good. No, oh, I've got fucking COVID, big guy. So. Oh, shit. Are you, are you going to be okay? Yeah, I'm not going to die, but fuck, just sometimes I wish I would. <laughs> That's fucking horrible. Andrew's got it too, but they can... Oh, shit. Anyway. No. Oh, no, I'm, I'm sort of cold. Um, I hit a pothole in Mexico and cracked all my rim. Um, yeah. It blew the tire and I got it temporarily fixed. Um, but yeah, so I've ridden 500 k's back to Phoenix, Arizona, and a, a guy's just got me, found me a brand new 19 inch Harley rim, which he's going to install. It's a proper shop, but I was just going to ask your advice to see how dangerous it was to ride on a cracked rim. Oh, uh, I want you to. I'd have to see it to be able to judge it. You can stick a tube in it and keep going. Yeah, well, I've driven back to Phoenix now, so I've just I've come back from Mexico. But I'm gonna I'm gonna change the rim just to be safe. So I've got about ten to fifteen thousand k's in front of me. Oh, yeah, well, that's the best thing to do. Yeah, no, no, thanks. It's all right. I sort of when I rang you, I was in I was in dire straits, and then I got sorted in between. Can you say good day to Andrea for me and look after yourself. Bye, mate. Shit, doesn't sound good. He's a good guy, Cole. Best deal on the planet, just my opinion. So good to be here. We're in early at a hotel for once. 40 degrees outside, huh? What? You've got the room number? That yeah. Card yeah, it's in my pocket. Do you know what floor it is? Four? Yeah, I don't know what room. Four, two, two. You know? yeah. Me and Parry were just saying it's so good not to have any timelines. We've been able to change, like we're in the, back in the US, we can just change and you know, maneuver as we need to, yeah? As shit yeah. goes down, yeah. we just change it. No, right, shit's been going down, no, right, huh? right. Yeah, it's <laughs> like a lot of shit. But the good thing is, yeah. we're gonna get the bike repaired tomorrow, then we're gonna ride to El Paso, and we're yeah. gonna cross the border there, and head back into Mexico through Juarez, and then head down through Chihuahua. Is it Chihuahua? Chihuahua? Yeah. Oh, God, I don't know. Chica Chihuahua. Huh? Chica Chica Chihuahua. And we're gonna have dinner tonight with the guy who helped me out from Gears to Gadgets just to say thanks. Oh, fuck's sake! Just so you know, I am carrying a ton of shit as well. I'm not just getting parried to be my bitch, as some of you fuckers think I am. <laughs> I fucking think I'm lazy and I get parried to do everything. What are you fucking doing? Oh, can they build them with bigger wheels? Yeah, no, it needs to be wider. There's so much shit packed in that. It needs a wider axle. Yeah, wider axle. Rick rack. Rick rack. Wide, wider axle. For hardcore bitches like us, bitches. Oh, yeah, yes. Look at that. Oh, it's a fucking big room. Yes. 500 US and Was it 500 US, was it? <laughs> it was cheap. I'll have this room. Oh. Come out, good is this? Oh my God. Fuck. <laughs> Just put that over there, please. Look at the toilet. All right. I've got a desk I can work at. How good's that? Yeah, I, I made sure you have one. Did ya? Yeah. We view the mountains out there. Do you remember that blister I had? I just realised I've still got the band-aid on. It's been on there for about eight days. I wonder if it's healed. Let's have a look. Fuck. Looks good to me. We're going downstairs for dinner, which is just nice. Isn't it Perry, hey? Yeah, Both nice. had a shower. I mean, not together. <laughs> it sounds bad. We're sharing a room at the moment. I've spent so much money. Day 41 on the road for me. But we're meeting this guy downstairs who's, his YouTube channel is Gears and Gadgets, and I've got a special million dollar bogus ticket. It's not much, but he has organized the new rim tomorrow. He's made contacts, probably about 50 DMs. He's chased, he's from Phoenix. Um, and so I contacted him, I said, mate, do you want to come and meet me and David? Um, and we'll buy you dinner. So he's here, he's downstairs, we're about to meet him. We've got no idea what he looks like. David said he's probably got face tats. Do you think he has got face tats? I reckon. Yeah. hope so. <laughs> and he wanted to vlog us, but we said no, because he's gonna spoil our clip. So Surprise. I just said, I just said no cameras. Yeah, he'll, yeah, because yeah. Perry, Perry doesn't know. No one knows that Perry's on the trip yet at this point. So let's go, let's go say g'day to him. Okay, Barry. This way. This way, this way. Go, Barry. Yeah, Hi, brother. 
So nice to see you. Thank you so much. <laughs> that's what I'm here for. You wow. saved our ass today. Just here to help another YouTuber, right? That's that's it's not for. much, that's just a sticker. Right. So we're taking Dan back to our room. He's a little bit nervous because me and Parry are bunking him together, aren't we, Parry? <laughs> <laughs> This Come is. On in, Come on in, Dad! Welcome to the den! Hang on, turn it on, because you know what I'm gonna say? It's gonna be like the animal farm. Yeah, we like, like to turn it on. Because you know what I'm gonna say? Because this is my house now! <laughs> the windows don't even open. Can, can we get some lighting happening here? Dan's a Harley rider and he's got about 30 odd thousand followers. He helped me out immensely today, so I owe it to him. I wanna ask him, I was in such a low spot today. And he went into a number of, you tell the story. So I was on the toilet today and I see Danny's posting that he has a blowout on his wheel. Real quick needs help. And I start looking around town to see if anybody has a wheel to help him out. Obviously he's not from Phoenix, calling around to some dealerships and nobody has a, a wheel for a 2018 Road Glide Special, which by the way is Probably one of their most sold well, motorcycles. Well, it's a street glide wheel. It's a road glide wheel. Right. It's they're all the same wheel. It's all wheel. a nineteen inch wheel, yeah, right? Yeah, it's all a nineteen inch rim. Right. So your local Harley Davidson dealer, or in the US, doesn't have parts at the moment. Is that a fair point for, for a sure. lot of bikes? For sure. So here's the sad bit. Here's I want one. If you buy a new bike, so let's say I buy a new, let's say I spend fifty thousand dollars on a new bike, and if I have an accident or have a blow on a rim. I've got to wait a number of my bikes out of action for months potentially for sure cool and uh, anybody who's watches my channel uh, knows I'm dealing with similar uh, circumstances with Ford right now with my truck being down and uh, it's not just isolated to Harley Davidson for sure you know I don't want to bag on the brand because we are in this uh, unique time uh, but the one thing well, you're that not is bagging it. I mean you're wearing the brand you rolled up sure. on a heritage yep. soft tail I mean you're allowed to hold things to scrutiny. For sure. You're allowed to hold things to account. I mean, I have the brand tattooed on me. I mean, we're fucking brand ambassadors. Everybody that has a YouTube channel or rides a Harley Davidson or has a Harley tap is a brand ambassador, right? My, my issue is today is that, I, and they were helpful. In fact, some of them weren't helpful. Some of them were people on 40 grand a year that didn't give a fuck, right? Right, flat uh, out dismissive. Yeah, just, just didn't care, whatever. But. Where did where did I end up finding joy? So uh, luckily, just me being in the area, uh, I just knew of some independent shops. Uh, reached out to a couple different uh, other YouTubers and people in the space, and uh, was able to find a, a local independent shop who, on a Sunday, responded to a text message. I don't actually personally know these guys. I just know they're reputable, and uh, you know, Danny will have them in there uh, in the vlog fixing the the bike. I'm sure, uh, but it comes down to the fact that Harley Davidson as a supporter of the brand, somebody who loves Harley. We all hear constantly about in the states here how you can you can break down anywhere in the country and be within you know 50 miles of a Harley Davidson dealership. But uh, what we were talking about earlier, uh, eating dinner, was it doesn't matter if you're 50 miles to a Harley Davidson dealership if they don't have any parts to fix the bike. If you're in from Australia uh, doing you know a cross country trip, so uh, you know we all understand and see the Harley dealerships with the hot dogs and the events and all that stuff, but. <laughs> I can tell you right now that I don't think that Danny was looking to uh, get a you know, hot go dog. and have a hot dog and a beverage at his local dealership. He just needs a wheel and get, get back on the road. I wanted my fucking bike fixed. Yeah, for sure. So, so keep going. So the moral of the story is, so today I've found an independent guy that's got a wheel, which I don't care what they charge me because I just got him. Oh, I'm in the middle of the vlog. I want to get all back on the road. So I'm going there tomorrow morning. So they've lost business. Yeah, you know they, they've lost. So, so, so my question is, if they've lost my business, how much fucking business is Harley Davidson losing at the moment? Yeah, Imagine, I, I like mean, how I, much would they be losing? I can tell you, like, the, as you know, as an American, we are the the whole Harley Davidson heritage of, of just being able to hop on a bike, go cross country. There are people coming in from overseas, and now I, I think Danny could agree. He's in a situation where he's able to take these these wonderful trips there's other people who don't have they might take a, a two-week vacation and that's all they have that right. is all so if you don't have the availability to service those those bikes and you're kind of selling the dream you have to be able to deliver on that dream and i think that today we've noticed you really have to be able to find these independent shops who might be able to help you out um you know luckily you're in a position where that's the case uh but yeah not not a great time to be in a situation needing some help 
not only from Harley, but a lot of brands, um, honestly. So we're not just bagging it on Harley. It's with it's with like for example the used car market. It's 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 cheaper to buy a new car and wait than what it is to buy a second hand car at the moment. You know that? Did you know that? Yep. So yeah, it just comes down to. Um, just, where's it? Painting shot standing. <laughs> I just want to say thank you because a lot of people talk a big game but when push comes to shove you were there for me today and thank you because me and Perry were in a fucking low spot so thank you so the question is you you have guns yes why do you have guns why do I have guns yeah I have guns because this is a crazy America yeah it is you know it is dangerous out here and you know it's you know you don't want to it's it's hard for me to you know get around all these all this violence and all these mass shootings and all these you know all this trouble that's happening so that's why i i carry my guns it's it's bad people it's yep. not not necessarily the guns yeah it's you know the yeah, people. Bad people you know like myself i'm a great person i own you know guns. heavy you, firearms you've yes. got to see, you own semi-automatics yes if someone comes through your door what are you gonna do? You gonna you're gonna protect I'm gonna yourself. shoot him. You're gonna shoot him. Yeah, if somebody tries to break into my house or yep. my home, yeah, and you know they try to threaten my family or myself, or I feel any way in danger, yep, they're gonna get a bullet. Do you absolutely? Do you think in America there's a lot of fear about lots of things, and that's why people have guns? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Where do you think that fear comes from? Because in Australia we don't have guns. You know what I'm it saying? It comes from the stuff that's happening. Yeah. You know, look around the world, there's, you know, there's there's bombings, there's, you know, tons of things happening in the world. It's like, you know, I can't even start, you know, to say what is wrong with this with with this country. So you feel safer having guns. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. So 100%. anyone comes at you they're going to cop it big big time. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, this this there's there's no question. And there's no question. And in Arizona people can carry guns. Absolutely. Yeah, but they've got to be concealed. Anybody can carry a gun in Arizona unless it's it, it has to be concealed, it has to be hidden. Yep. But you don't have to have a license as of right now in Arizona. Yeah. Like there's so many drugs and, you know, cartels and gangs out here yep. that you can get guns laying around anywhere. Yeah. Like you can go up to, you know, I L could get LA. A, could I get a gun tonight? Uh, sure. Yeah. If you really wanted to, yeah. yeah. Go into LA or go into some hood area yeah. and be like, hey, you know, Go to a guy standing on the corner. Hey, I'm looking for a freaking firearm. Yeah. And I'm sure he can fucking find you one. I'm sure yep. he can. When you hear about a mass shooting on TV, I sit at home in Australia and I think, oh my God, that's terrible. Those young kids getting killed. Does that ever make you think about shit? Our gun laws, there's something wrong here or not? Or do you go, no, nah, there's something wrong with that person? There's something that needs to change. Absolutely. Yeah. Like, like an example would be getting rid of all semi-automatics and automatics, for example, and just say carrying a handgun. Do you think that would be better? I would say no. No. Because there's still going to be bad people, very bad people out here with the semi-automatics. Yeah. And if someone were to break into my house yeah. and I have a handgun yeah. and somebody has an AR or a, a AK-47, a any type of you know semi-automatic uh, rifle, yeah. a handgun's not going to do the job for me. How many bullets would thirty would rounds? In, how many bullets would go into a person in say five seconds? Multiple. Like Multiple. 20, 20, Within 30? five seconds. Yeah. One, two, three. Uh, with a semi-automatic, probably at least fifteen. I would say at the top of my head. That's going to do the job. Yeah, it'll <laughs> rip them apart. And there's bullets out here these days that'll go right through vests. Yeah. Right. You know. So that's what I think scares the U.S. of so, sort of shutting down all of these, you know, trying to take all these people's guns away. Because certain areas like, you know, Texas, Arizona, people that are heavily, heavily, they love their fucking guns. Yep. And nobody's just going to walk into their house. Oh, you normally carry guns. I, I carry one all the time. Ah, right. Yeah, I carry so one So would you time. be carrying one now? You can't say I that. can't say that. Okay. Yeah. yeah. If you went to Mexico, would you take your AR with you? I can't, no. You're not allowed to take it to no. Mexico. Would you go to Mexico? With the right people? Yeah. Yeah. Like security people? Like I, people that... I wouldn't say security people. I know a lot of higher end, you know, like DA and other people. What's a DA? District attorneys. Oh, yeah, okay. You yeah, know, yeah. district attorneys. Yeah. And I know other law enforcement as well. Yeah. 
you know, yeah. but you just got to, you got to be careful. All right. Well, thanks. You've given me so much insight. Seriously, I appreciate no, it. No, no worries Thank you, man. I appreciate it. No worries, man. Wakey, wakey, rise and shine, fellow followers and YouTubers. Today, we're getting the rim fixed and we're heading back across. We're not going back into Mexico today. We're actually going to cross to El Paso, which is about 600 kilometers. We're going to stay there the night and then we're going to head down through Juarez and back into Mexico that way. And then the journey to the center of the earth will continue. Harry, where are you? Having a piss. Okay, let's have a look at what sort of day is outside. <sighs> oh, temperature in Phoenix is fucking hot. 40 degrees yesterday, riding in 40 degree heat. That ain't nice. But that's just how we roll because we're tough. We're hard. We're hard and Harley Davidson riders. Fuck, you took your time. Mate, I had to go to three different coffee shops. No one opens till eight o'clock. Mate, how hard is it to get a coffee in the US in the morning? Yeah, it's and what happened? Pretty hard. I ran into a homeless dude. And he mm. said, you got any change? I said, yeah, I got change. I said, I'll give you 20 bucks. You take me to a coffee shop. So I went to three. Finally got a coffee hour and a half later. Did you really give him $20 US? Yeah. Good on you. He loved it. He was a nice guy. I was, yeah, mm. we had a good chat. It was good. Oh. And got coffee. Living the dream. Got a coffee. Soon I'll be taking my bike in. Okay, before I take off to get the wheel fixed, we just want to show you guys where we're at, where we've been. So here's the map. We um, obviously we're in um, Tijuana, which is here, and we cut across here, and we went down here and we stayed a place called Pieto Panasco or Rocky Point they call it. So we travelled from Tijuana along here. We were going to head down here. Um, but I had the blowout um, around here and we turned around and um, we went straight back up here, Highway 8, um, and we made our way to um, Phoenix. That's where we are, going to get the tyre repaired here. And then um, because, let's be clear, Mexico is dangerous at the moment. Well, that's all the hype. Um, and hand on heart, I, I did have... <laughs> moments where on the highway alone and every truck that pulled up behind us did, did scare us um, so it is scary so we've we're not making changes but we're just being a little bit smarter about things and I'm definitely doing my research about what highway to travel on because that's what's important and it's important to get current data um, don't, not, not stuff from two months ago but stuff of now so what I'm gonna do is um, we're gonna leave Phoenix today leave Phoenix today and we're going to travel stay in the US the travel to um, to El Paso so that's that's like you know 500 450 miles it's quite a long ride so we'll ride from Phoenix today stay the night in El Paso get up early in the morning and then travel through the day and hit Chihuahua whatever it's called Chihuahua um, and we'll stay in a, um, a good hotel there. So we'll ride straight to the hotel. Now that gets us riding to the heart of into Mexico. Durango here is a place recommended not to go, or it's never, it's sorry, not to be on this side of it, to be on this side of it. So we need to somehow cut across this way, safer. Um, and I don't know much about this part, I haven't researched it yet, but really we've got to get to Mexico City, which again is, is classified as quite dangerous, but we're going there. And then ultimately we're going to then scoot across here, 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 and get to Cancun. Um, and yeah, we've still got about 10, what's the date today? Six. Oh shit, we've got eight days to get there to Cancun. Um, and then I've got to come back. David flies out um, from Cancun home. He ditches his bike and I'm riding home back that route. Um, that's the plan anyway, I've got to get sorted. All right, let's go. Harry's got that. I'm carrying the laptop and some smaller shit. But like we said, wider axle, big need, wheels. Need wider axle, yeah, because when you load it up, I mean, like most people aren't gonna load it. They can load it better. But it makes life easy with the wheels, doesn't this it? This is awesome. <laughs> okay, we are headed to El Paso, about 450 miles in front of us. We've got to get the bike fixed. Fingers crossed that all goes well. 
I can ride safe. I'm gonna check, David, I've gotta check. Remember how I put those bits of tape on the motorbike to see if the crack grew? Let's yeah. see if the crack has grown because since I put that on, we did about another 150 kilometers or about 100 miles. Um, so yeah, we'll check the tape when we get to the bike. We're not checking it, we're just walking out, aren't we? How hot is it out there? It's hot. What, 35? Yeah. Already, it's 9 a.m. It's morning. Morning, early morning and it's hot. Hot in Phoenix, Arizona. Okay, fuck, it is hot out here. Okay, let's get the bikes, it's hot. Oh, I'd say it's about 30. <sighs> it's still hot though. Fuck. What is the time, is it 9 a.m. yet? 8.52, we're supposed to be there at 9. Okay, here's the bikes. Let's get a check this crack. I put that tape on it. Okay, here's the tape. Remember I put the tape on it? Now, from memory, okay, you can see right, bit of a crack there and no crack there. So I reckon that there has grown a fraction. That's moved a little bit along because it wasn't that far out. Probably can't see with the camera. Anyway, I think that's a smart thing. It hasn't really moved much, to be honest. So we could have potentially got away with that, but too risky. Yeah, no, nah, dangerous. I, I would never forgive myself if I had an accident because I didn't replace a rim. If it cost a thousand US to replace, what, what a foolish thing to do. I think we did the smart thing. I think it was risky riding back, but we had to do it. Back in the US, get it fixed, even though you can't buy parts but we did find a wheel. Let's hopefully get it all fixed and get back on the road. Let's go. Sorry about that. Any damage? Oh, I've cracked your tail light. Shit, sorry about that. No, oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Just don't touch it. But look, hang on, it's detachable now, look. Yeah, just don't touch it. <laughs> I'm just saying. You know how they have that look? One second, yeah, we don't really want an excuse no. to be pulled over. Yeah, next. but I know, but look at that, the way it comes off like that now. Yeah, you can see great. inside it. That's great. <laughs> All right. Let's get packed up. Let's go. We're on the road. Let's go get the wheel fixed. Fingers crossed, it's no drama. How are you, dude? Hey. I'm Danny. Nick. Are you, are you the guy I spoke to? Yes. Hi, Nick. Not bad. How are you? Good. I'm, I'm filming. Than, you okay uh, with that? What's that? I'm filming. You okay with that? Oh, that's fine. Yeah, awesome. Sure. What's, what's the name of this place, Nick? This, this, this is Nick. Collective Phoenix. Collective Phoenix. Yeah. And you're a custom bike building shop? Yes, we are. Yep. Yeah. Awesome. Repair shop. Uh, we have Danny Wilson, who is the motor witch on Instagram. He builds the 159 motors cubic inch motors oh does he, he, he builds them yes and people buy them yeah definitely uh, these are some of the cylinders right here actually so you've probably seen them before i'll just Somewhere. i'll just say i'll just say yeah ah oh, right wow so, that's so he makes these yes he does and he, he no doubt has lots of customers yes. like a backlog oh yeah definitely yeah you can see them here they're uh a bunch of builds uh, yeah. this is all carbon fiber that is, yeah, yeah, that's actually Danny's, uh, that's Danny's bike, that's a uh, 159 cubic inch, uh, the first one. And because it's carbon fibre, it's going to go be lighter. Yeah, well, you would think that until the, the crank took up the excess amount. Whatever you lost in the carbon fibre, he says, you made up for in the crank, so. Oh, uh, because it's more, more yeah, heavier. Yeah, yeah, so it's just a kind of a product bike, basically. You can throw the best of the best in there. Gee, I love the headlights too. Yeah, RRI. This is what I've got. Is that a CVO? Yeah. That is. Yeah. That's that's what that's, I've got. Uh, that 2018 CVO. That's, that's what I've got. Yeah. It's exactly the same in gunship so. gunship grey. Yeah, they're super nice. I just put a 131 kit on it. It's got a 540 SNS cam in it. Oh, nice. About 145 horsepower, about 155 pounds of torque. Nice. Oh, that's a damn good number. You can, yeah. yeah can, I can pop a mono on it, which is good. Yeah. Not, not not a clutch one, but an actual. Uh huh. Yeah, but but, nice. but not, I'm not very good at that. But yeah, <laughs> I'll leave that for the wheelie guys for sure. Geez, you got some serious bikes here, dude. 
Yeah, that's some pretty cool ones. Right Look now. at this thing. Fuck. This was uh, Danny's Born Free build, unfortunately. The guy uh, was cut off in traffic somewhere on their cell phone. But this was last year's Born Free build that was in Harley's Museum. And oh. then, uh, you know, the guy took a spill, grabbed a handful, and uh, it's here for damage estimate. So hopefully we can get her back to, back to normal. Shit. So you'll see. So what happened was a guy put it on a press um, in Mexico, yeah. and as he did that, he cracked it, but it was already warped and it was letting out air. Oh, he was just trying to repair it. But the good thing is, it, it's not leaking air anymore, but as you can see. Yeah, that's dangerous. Oh yeah, that's I'm, I'm not prepared to do another 10, 15, because I've got 10, I've got five weeks of riding in front of me. Okay. And I just think that's gonna be dangerous and eventually, could, they could kill me. Yeah, yeah I could see that. Yeah, yeah. so Definitely. what I need is a new, and you've got it, haven't you? Yeah, it isn't a special wheel, so no, it's I'm not gonna I match that. I don't care, dude. Perfect, perfect. <laughs> I'm not, look at the bike. I'm yeah, <laughs> so it's got a brand new tire on it and everything. You're gonna have a, I don't know if you wanna run that tire, it being compromised like that, but that would, that would definitely get you in a mix match set, which. No, I'm happy. No, 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 that, that's a, that's a Dyna rear. So that's not the original anyway. Oh, okay, you'll be good to go then. So yeah. I, I don't care so what you put on it, mate. As long as it's safe, it. as long as it's safe. If you can ride in the beach with this, you'll be fine with mix match. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> it's wheel, tire, rotors, oh, bearings, done. Okay. brand spanking okay. new. Okay, and what am I looking at? Uh, 600 bucks. Okay, yeah. done, yeah. done. That, that's done. pretty good. Okay, yeah. let's, so let's. Rotors let's, and all, so we'll look. just uh, throw it on. It's already balanced and everything. Let's, so it should be pretty simple. Mate, this is yeah. awesome. awesome. This is awesome. Yeah. This is awesome. I'm, mate, you don't know how happy you've made me. I'll push it in here in a second. Oh, and, this uh, thing. Can, can, I feel, can I feel this? Yeah, yeah. How are you guys? Hey, how are you doing? Good, bro? thanks. Danny, how are you? Yeah, very G'day. nice to meet you. G'day. Yeah. I'm just having a look at this thing. Holy shit, Harry. This is a Born Free uh, build for a customer of ours. Look at this. Yeah. It's, 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 is that Legends? Yes. Yeah. 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 Not definitely. These are uh, Jade affiliate wheels and rotors. I just don't see that. I don't see the heavy stuff in Australia. No, 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 no. The way you go, like you guys are way. It's it's a bit different, huh? Everywhere uh, you go, you get a you get a different taste of it. Does this thing all light up and stuff? No, it doesn't no. light up. You it's can't a, get those top Oh, I'm pretty sure. I mean, I guess you could really, because uh, you know, a little bit of wiring, a tiny hole. Did you see I many like shovels that. on the side of Harley's? <laughs> no, no, this is the first I can say. So you cover the bikes up, is that so they don't get damaged? Because I just want to say, I don't want to see a fingerprint on this. Yep, or one okay. speck right. of dirt. Absolutely. I got you. And, no, if, yeah. and if I see one fucking scratch. Well, let me show you around over here. Yeah, yeah. You've got us as the collective. You've got Torch Industries, yeah. which is a metal fabricator. Wow. And makeup. So that's handmade. Yeah. Side covers. The reproduction of their police bags here. This is Epic Star Division's thing. This is going to be a place type. Yeah, I don't know what this one specifically is, but there's quite bikes. a few of them. Holy shit. So are these all project type bikes or customer bikes? Yeah, these are all project bikes. Um, at one point for you know, was... motorcycle shows. For yep. example, our crunch time right now is Born Free, yep. Yep. which is in California. Everyone's yeah. doing that, aren't they? Yeah. yeah, so he's got about five bikes we need to get done. You know, wireless kind of deals. Is that how you started? It. Yeah, this is actually the, the, the farm, key. essentially. Wow, look at that, it just fired up. Do people bring in a bike, a fairly stock bike, and say, I want this, 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 and this under it? Yes. And that's... how much, how much in US dollars would be a typical, I know this is a pretty, you know, how long's a piece of string type question. Yeah. But what sort of, what would be the middle of the range that someone would spend to get their bike looking hot? So after they purchase the bike and they come in here, I would say with motor work, powder coating, so panel bars, motor. the whole nine yards, every, everything all across the board. You're the looking whole... upwards in forty thousand dollars US. Yes. So about sixty thousand Australian. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then they've probably paid. So it's going to be close to about maybe a ninety. 80 to 90, 100 thousand dollar bike. Yes. But it's gonna look fucking hot. Yeah. Yes, exactly. And then you can go into fine detail to the point where that teal bike, for example, I mean, yeah. you've got little things, powder coating here, powder coating these small things, for example, the oil lines, those oil cool lines on top, yeah. you have those powder coated. And then it really just depends how far you wanna go. You can go with the, for example, there's a $4,000 Baker transmission, right? Yeah. 
you can go as far as disassembling that completely, getting it cryoheated so that it can strengthen Baker's already strong. Cryo, yeah. cryoheated, <laughs> just to make it stronger. Yeah. yeah, just to make it stronger. And then you can go from there. You can go, you know, wow. as far as you really want. With it. Wow, that's amazing how I am. That, that's amazing. So these are carbon? Yep. Yeah, you can go ahead and open it up and see. I don't know how to open these. On that side. Oh. <laughs> I do. You own one? Yeah, I own, I own, a, I own a couple, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's got the... How new does that wheel... That's a brand new wheel. Brand new wheel. And tyre. It's like a 100 mile long or something like that. <laughs> if, if that, 100 miles. Yeah, if that. Like, uh, do you know how good... Why are we only having 100 miles on it? Really? Yeah. Do you know what? I'm so happy because that was potentially because I couldn't find a wheel that was going to end my motor vlog. I was going to have to go home early. I can't stop smiling. Why? I'm so happy right now. Why? How good's this? I know. I know. On the road again. We're on the road again. <laughs> <laughs> we're very happy. Yesterday we were absolutely demoralised. <laughs> so you're going to put a chrome one on it? Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. Let's do it. Let's that do it. Well, yeah. Beyond belief. So. Yeah. That, that's looking a bit. That's, a safe that's looking a bit manky, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so Collective Phoenix is going to put its magic touch on my bike. So it'll have a part of it in Australia yeah, a little, forever. Yeah. A little bit. Yeah. Awesome. We'll awesome. sign it for you. So, so this is the Danny Wilson born free. It's going to be this one. It's. It's missing a few things, just saying. Just a couple things. Oh, <laughs> oh here's the motor. It's not like a gun. What, what was the, the colors, Danny? Battleship gray and Cold War gray. Do you want to know Danny as well? Yeah, Danny. Isn't the other guy called Danny? Dan and Danny. And I'm Danny. That's and isn't Danny Wilson? That's me. I'm Danny Wilson. Oh, you're the boss. Something like that. Oh. <laughs> I'm nobody's boss. We always work together. Do you know I film you? Of course. So, sorry, I didn't even know. I, I didn't even, I'm looking at this guy out of the corner of my eye thing, and this guy doesn't like me. He's like, it's like, get that, get out of my shop. Oh, no. And then I realised this is actually Danny Wilson. <laughs> so you're the man that builds the motors. Yeah.